Welcome back, everyone, to the Lost Village. Uh, today, uh, we, we have a new patch, actually. Um, apparently, we will uh, be able to adventure now. Um, looks like to these uh, various new spots. Um, basically, it's, it's going to have you redo, like, dungeons and whatnot, but you don't actually have to go out and do them anymore. Um, so it's a good way of, of, you know, getting more loot without having to you know, grind endlessly, right? So, thought I'd point that out. They're not very, uh, well translated. Uh, like at all. Uh, but yeah, it takes a long time. Uh, six years. We get, uh, some life elixirs here from these uh, chests as well. So I thought I'd point it out in case you, uh, were curious. Um, it sounds like the dev is actually watching, um, the comments a little bit about the dungeon as well. Uh, they said that they were uh, looking at the length of the dungeon and uh, would like to improve it. So maybe we will see like normal uh, length of dungeons. You know, it's it's way too long right now. Uh, well over an hour, uh, even if you go on max speed. Um, so uh, definitely needs to be fixed. Uh, sounds like they're looking into it. So hopefully that'll be good in the future. I don't think it is good now though. Um, I looked at the the dungeon here, for instance. We have an Ascension dungeon that I've subscribed, but it says 15 loops right here. So, like, obviously that's not going to work out. Um, it's just it's just way too long for at least uh, YouTube, right? Um, at least in my opinion, so. I wouldn't want to watch it, so I'm not going to make you guys watch it. Uh, another thing that we found out <laughs> is actually uh, my second time recording this episode uh, because I, not accidentally, I did decide to feed Zekai this uh, nice orange elixir here. Uh, it says plus 100. Uh, that's because it gives you 100 potential, but it also puts you through a rebirth. <laughs> So, um, obviously we don't want to do that with, uh, Zekai right here at Tribulation 10. Um. <laughs> yeah, I did that, and I just facepalmed, like, oh, man, this is terrible. Uh, anyway, uh, the demonic boss is available. Um. Let's see. I think we can buy, I think we have some, uh, we have some weapons, I think, to open. Uh, let's see. Some epic weapon chests. I think we even have, though... Um, let's look. I think we have... The ability to buy... Uh, some weapon chests, is what I noticed in here. Yes, right here. So we can buy mythic weapon chests with the prestige points that we get. Uh... Oh, Superior Ascension Realm? I like five more of those. Uh, Alright. Weapon chests. Should be good for now, I think. So, uh, in case you're curious, uh, refreshing, or I'm sorry, upgrading the Prestige Store to Max, and then you can buy basically all the good stuff in the game. Uh... The legendary books are here. Uh, I still haven't seen a new copy of the uh, demonic uh, domain. I'm starting to wonder if that's like even normally part of the game or something. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. So I, I thought I'd point that out though. Uh, this is very, very handy um, as you go through your cultivation journey. Uh, you can get whatever you want. Elixir fours and whatnot. All you have to do is go out and capture a few sites on the world. They'll come and regularly attack you and just feed you prestige points like they've been doing. So. Alright. Uh, let's open these chests and see if we can get any nice weapons. Um, there they are. Okay. Muli Gongzo. Uh, we did get this Moonblade. Um, 
Uh, it does have a chance to restore HP, but I, I kind of want to give this to Chunying instead. So, um, let's see if we can find uh, something better. Uh, something that also does restore HP, though. Uh, it doesn't look like we'll find anything here so far. A lot of these are quite nice, but uh, having the ability to heal uh, lifesteal is so nice. Uh, I think it's like critical, basically. So uh, we'll leave it as it stands right now. Uh, maybe we can give a new weapon to Serena. Yeah, she doesn't have a very good uh, spear. So let's see what kind of spears uh, we have. Uh, sword rain might be nice, plus that has crit damage on it. Crit damage and then metal skills damage. She doesn't really use metal skills though. Meteorite rain, no. Ours is flame rain. So I guess none of these are really good. Uh, arrow rain, spell defense. Let's let's equip this one for now, and then we'll change it later. Uh, and let's go and refine our new weapons. Uh, strengthen. Wait, what? Oh, whoops! Did I equip that? I equipped it on the wrong person. Whoops. Not gift. Equip, and then come over to Serena. Yeah, I don't see anything else that's even worth our uh, worth our time. So we'll equip this like, and we'll just like upgrade it like two or three times. Okay, so let's go out and fight uh, the spider. Uh, with this new update as well, uh, it, it seems like they tweaked the uh, spider, so it's a lot harder now. Um, we'll give it a we'll give it a good college try here, of course. But uh, I thought I'd point that out. It is much more difficult. Um, so let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, it also has like a weird glitch, and you'll you'll see it here in a minute, where uh, the music cuts in and out uh, when when basically the uh, other uh, enemies are defeated. Uh, you can see though her attack speed is way higher. And there's the uh, glitch. <laughs> By the way, uh, for uh, Yukiko, uh, another thing that I did was I let everyone die on the map, and I used a uh, thunder thunderball on the enemy boss, and it does do damage actually. So uh, for the rest of you as well, if you were wondering, you can use attack Toras uh, on the boss. It does work. So uh, they're not very effective. I'll say that. Uh, the decimate one might might be pretty good though, which does percentile uh, damage, maybe. Anyway, uh, attack. Uh, summon white tigers. More defense. Try to demolish. 
Yeah, I think that's the critical 521 thing popping up on the screen there. If I'm not mistaken. So it's not bad. It's not the best either, though. Um, let's see. That's a good revive right there. Let's get the uh, tiger focus. Uh, not bad. Uh, rank 10 is okay. Actually, with the new uh, system, this thing attacks so much faster. Uh, it's really hard to get a higher rank now, I think. Launch talismans. Uh, shield ghost. Yeah, let's get that. Uh, there's the free tiger that we gained. Uh, okay, we'll save up energy again for one more turn. And I probably need to look at the um, audio issue here. This thing is like devastating, you know? Okay, I've only got 30 seconds. trial run earlier. Uh, not good enough to give us the uh, stuff that we want, though. Um, I'll show you what I mean in just a moment here. So, Chen Ying is at uh, peak incarnation and would like to go into the tribulation state. But in order to get a decent... Uh, in order to get a decent... Um, A, a decent uh, breakthrough. Uh, uh, anything other than inferior, we need a uh, better elixir as well. And it looks like the best way to get them is through that spider boss. Um, here, I'll show you what I mean, though. So. Uh, let's see. So she can do her breakthrough, uh, but she needs a uh, orange tribulation elixir. To get a superior one or medium for um, tribulation elixir two for the uh, medium one, uh, she can use this 
if she wants to get an inferior uh, benefits. Maybe we do that, actually. Um, you know, what we might do is we might actually um, change Chun Ying once she hits Ascension, perhaps, and have her uh, go through Rebirth. So that might be what we do. Uh, let's let's uh, have her do an inferior one, actually. And uh, we can also do uh, Zekai's Tribulation. So uh, yet another issue that we had, uh, I'm going to watch for it this time, is uh, Zekai did his, uh, you know, good tribulation here. And um, and uh, he ran out of, he ran out of stamina, basically. So, or not stamina, he ran out of mental state. So what we're going to do is, when he's doing this, we're going to have him... We're going to change the elixir halfway through. So right now we have uh, stamina elixir. Uh, we can use the spirit elixir or... S wait. Stamina elixir says reduces mental. What? Okay, that's probably a, uh, an issue here. Anyway, uh, here's Zekai's purple thundercloud, so we'll watch it. Uh, he and Chun Ying are, uh, you know, breaking through at the same time here. It's pretty nice. So he's draining his stamina, and we will switch this to a stamina elixir here in just a moment. Now you should be able to make it. Got plenty of stamina guard. So he's not losing any stamina at all. Excellent. The time is upon us. We have reached the ascension le uh, level. Ascension 1. So I guess we have to walk through ascension as well. Not sure why you would need to, but... Maybe you get extra stats for the different steps in between. There we go. So Zekai's a lot stronger now. Uh, any candidates worth our attention, perhaps? Mumuru. <laughs> this person could be good to just help out with some tasks around the sect. Bring him in. Sure, buddy. Try to get you a medium one. We want a superior one for uh, you, Fuhua. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I think the issue now will be uh, we can't actually make the elixirs that we need for, like, the better... Um, yeah, like, this is the inferior one. Um, inferior right here as well. This is for, I think, um, whatever's after, after Condense. Uh, not, not Nascent, but, uh, Incarnation, I think, is, is this one. Uh, so, in order to get the better, uh, the, the better, uh, breakthroughs, we have to go out and find, we have to go out and find them. Via fighting and whatnot. So, it's a little bit more challenging than, well, a lot more challenging, I, I guess I should say, than what it was when we first started playing the game, where we could just ascend and we could just choose whichever upgrade path we wanted to take. Um, so, Chin Ying is now uh, orange. That's great. She's a tribulation cultivator. Uh, maybe we'll look at Serena next, too get them, uh, get all, all four of these guys up here to, uh, Tribulation. Like you, Fuhua, maybe we'll work on him, too. Uh, alright, let's fight. 
Uh, so really interesting update. Uh, I like it. Ooh, look at that. The red for the ascension. We've reached the final state of cultivation. It's gonna take forever for Chunying to hit, uh... To hit, uh, tri uh, ascension herself. That's fine, though. We're already quite strong. like the direction this game is heading a lot. Um, I will say, and I'll, I'll put this out here right now, so so don't yell at me later, but uh, I think I may be getting close to being done playing the game for now. Uh, and that's just because uh, we have this, this, this gameplay loop, right? It's kind of like more of a farming game now, if you will, uh, where we just go out and fight dungeons and trial towers and stuff like that, and you know, I feel like at, at some point that's that's just going to get uh, repetitive. Um, so I might not post uh, episodes uh, on YouTube. Maybe I'll continue to play occasionally uh, in my spare time. But uh, for me, I think I think the direction is very good. But um, but uh, it, it needs more. I think maybe diversity is probably it. Uh, more challenge types, perhaps too. Uh, things like that, uh, just to keep it interesting. Um, so I thought I'd, you know, t let you guys know ahead of time. Uh, we're getting close to uh, probably the end of the playthrough. Um, uh, who are you again? You're a sage. Interesting. So, um, we're still getting a lot of peaches. Progress is really fast, Beiju. Ha ha ha, that's for sure. Okay, so now uh, Yufu is uh, getting a beast as well. Uh, let's see, can we. Uh, can, we can we train? Yeah, there we go. Should probably upgrade his uh, realm too now that I think about it. But we need to give him stuff to eat. Is there stuff that we can, uh... Yeah, is there stuff that we can eat in here? Could buy more, uh, mystic weapon chests. Sounds good. Uh, I guess it would be under, yeah, face store. Our store is 20... We don't need that anymore. That's a tribulation skill. Just need something to feed him to give him more stats. And I think it was like Gu Zheng. If I'm, yeah, yeah, here it is again. So we need more of this stuff. So we have it checked under there. We could switch to nurturing if we wanted to do that. Let's have him complete this round of training first. We'll we'll do that. Okay. Uh, let's give uh, Yufuhua some some nice stuff. He's already got a decent. Uh, do you have any uh, buffs, uh, buffs with any particular weapon type? Does not appear so. So you could have any any weapon, it looks like. Uh, you mostly have spells, I think. Healing, Strengthen, Magical Earth, Maybe Wood. It's got a lot of wood, actually, abilities.
Attacks have a 20% chance to do a Thunderbolt. It's kind of cool. Um... Type skills damage doesn't really help. I wonder if spell defense would help us guard against the uh, spider. I don't know if it's like physical damage or spell damage, you know? Yeah, like is physical, is this better, for instance? I don't know. I like how uh, this heavy sword has a twin blade projectile bonus. Uh, very, uh, very helpful. <laughs> Formation. Nothing really, it looks like, that, uh, helps us specifically. Spear projectile. <laughs> uh, well, we do have, uh, one fighter spell. We actually have a really good mix of, uh, spells here. Um. Yeah, let's just do this one for now. Give him a better uh, chest as well. Lightning attack about. What is Samadhi? Samadhi Fire is an ultimate skill, isn't it? I think. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess... This rebound damage taken sounds pretty good. This fire orb is way better. Yeah. Okay. Ultimate tower. Um, this is pretty nice. Gives us a twin blade projectile bonus. Uh, let's equip this thing and then give the other thing to Chun. Uh, what was it? Yeah, this thing. For Twin Blades? Because eventually we'll go back to having a Twin Blade, I'm pretty sure. Because we have a bonus for it. Oh, it's Moon Blade, actually. Oh, gotcha. Um... Oh, wow! Okay, there's a boot right there that gives us a uh, 25% chance to restore HP. Um, let's give that to Zekai. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. this is pretty good, too. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's do this, though. Equip that. Now we have basically our free reign over what we do here. Um, just make sure we don't have any... I don't think we have any bonuses with a certain type of weapon, so... We can choose really whatever we want. Let's see if there's something that uh, strikes our fancy, if you will. Sword Pulse. We don't use the Bagua Formation anymore. Metal type skills damage would probably be nice. Demon Tower amounts. Or a mortal sword pulse projectile. We do like that ability. Um, sword formation amount. We 
Would that be nice? Spear projectile. Metal sword crossbow. Okay, so let's do just the flat metal damage. Let's see if we can uh, refine your uh, weapon a little bit more. <laughs> times. Okay. And uh, let's feed, uh, I think, let's feed Fair Serena the... Um, well, even if we feed Serena peaches, we don't have the elixirs to make good, uh, good breakthroughs. Hmm. Maybe the idea is we go through and rebirth a lot of these people and train new people, which would be more similar to like the Amazing Cultivation Simulator gameplay that we do uh, on the channel as well. Um, treating people as more more like tools than anything else, you know. Uh, not to be uh, <laughs> not to degrade Serena and Chun Ying, but. Um, it's almost like they make sacrifice. Their lives are in sacrifice for someone else. You know what I mean? Why do you want to leave? Don't do that. I hope you stay. That was inconsiderate. See the actual color geometry? What? I did not know colors had geometry. It's news to me. Let's buy more weapons. Anything else interesting in here, by the way? Oh, holy essence. Oh, this is good stuff right here. Let's buy a bunch of that. Whoa. give you like 10 of them yeah eight more true damage come on okay nine is fine for now let's give that to Serena as well I guess we give it to uh, all the main people. Good enough for me. Uh, also, let's give it to Yufu. Lun Pai is my Uh, just take all 20. Yeah. I knew you were gonna fail a lot. Alright, so we're slowly getting stronger. So that's good. Uh, anyone, uh, that we want to upgrade? Uh, Serena can become the uh, Tiger Elder. Sounds good. Or the Dragon Elder? No, Tiger Elder. Uh, Juyo can become the Dragon Elder. Chunyin can become the Lion Elder. Right? Wait. Where is Chunyin? We never promote Chunyin. Wait, where is she? Organization. Oh, she's already locked into that. Gotcha. Perfect. Tiger Elder actually gives defense and dodge. 
the lion gives crit damage and whatnot. So... I hope they're not going to be upset. <laughs> Defeat stronger enemies. Uh, well, don't get used to the, uh, the position, because... Um, About to change it. So, uh, let's see. Uh, none. Yeah, let's change you to. Yeah, it'd be nice if I could just, like, swap. Dragon Deacon for now, then. You can become a... You need to become a Lion Deacon. What do you mean? Failed. Oh, there's not enough. Um, okay, this is gonna be obnoxious, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Just, uh, just all move down to Tiger Deacons. Uh, attack and true damage will be... Juyo. Mm, Dragon Deacon, right? Yes. Lion is Serena. And Tiger is Chu. Hopefully that did not upset them. Okay, they don't seem to have cared. Uh, good. Uh, it's about to be auction time again, but uh, I think we'll probably uh, wrap things up soon. We just uh, double check um, all our research and make sure there's nothing new. I didn't see any notes about there being any, like, additional changes here. Looks like we're good. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of toughness, too. Symbol. Make sure we've learned all the Torahs again. Um, so we have a, a few damage abilities, which I think is good. We have a couple uh, huge healing abilities, which are also good. I'd like some defensive ones. Um, like maybe Stamp Fury would be nice. So this is... 8 meter radius, dodge plus 20 for 80 seconds. Dodge plus 15. And receives maximum HP of Master's HP. I feel like this would be a really nice ability. Stamp cover would be nice too for just unloading like a lot of damage. Let's try that. Uh, we'll throw in one more uh, damage ability, I think. Uh, what do we want, though? Applies 10 stacks of shred. Sounds pretty good. Throw in Rampage 2. Alright. Uh, the Ghost Flag is now level 9 as well. Let's uh, refine this thing. Uh, 
looks like, um... So, uh, they changed the, uh, Taoist point accumulation as well. Uh, and this is for, I guess, like, replayability. You can, um, get a stronger sect start in the future if we complete more of these. Uh, these are definitely, definitely more challenging now. I think we had all of them done in the past. And now, uh, like, what is all this, you know? Like, um, do something a hundred times or something? Uh, 25, 50 times. These might be like dungeons and whatnot. So, uh, a lot more, uh, grindy. So, if that's more your speed, of course, that's great. Why do you want to leave? Oh, I don't leave. I hope you stay, man. I was inconsiderate, I'm sure. I don't even remember your name. Uh, good. So, uh, I think they actually also, by the way, added um, a pill that you can use to actually do a gender reversal if you wanted to. Uh, <laughs> you know how we uh, kind of thought the uh, the um, elixirs that uh, the disguise elixirs uh, would actually change uh, gender, and they didn't. They just changed your portrait. Apparently, now there is a means of actually changing the gender in the game. I don't know why you'd want to do it. I think we were just playing around with it in the past anyway, because we thought it might. Uh, we were just doing it for, you know, for, for a good old giggle, right? But um, apparently that is a thing now, so... I suppose it does have a, a gameplay element to it, because we can have uh, relations um, with only five females, but we could have ten best friends. So it might make uh, sense to have more males. Uh, for instance, like Mei Bing or, or Mei Ping or something like that. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, give give this uh, lady, uh, like, a... Uh, we'll probably test on her, actually. Give her, like, a... Um, the gender reversal pill. If we can find one, we have to find one. So. Apparently it's a thing, though. Let's see. Just looking through our items, too, to see if there's anything else we can use. So don't eat these unless you're ready to do rebirth. There's a superior nascent realm ability. Tiger Bone, I think that comes from the Bloody Lands. Let's make that the last thing we do tonight. Let's just visit a uh, Bloody Lands here. Oh, it's Ascension. Oh boy. Uh, affairs, or wait, all? Yeah, there we go. You foo, uh, head out there, man. Uh, there we go. Yeah, Ascension. I think this is the first time we got Ascension for this. And I think it's because it's now based on, the level of the stuff that you'll find in the Outworld is primarily based on your sect uh, leader's cultivation. So it's probably a good idea to not um, to not rebirth your sect leader until you have like fifteen thousand peaches, maybe, uh, and all of these superior realm uh, breakthrough stuff that you want, so you can like remold your body and become even stronger um, in one fell swoop. And you don't have to wait. Um, all right, yeah. Uh, artifact chest? Ooh, okay. This could be nice. Uh, let's get everyone equipped here. Uh, I think Mei Bing and Yifu Hua. Although maybe instead of Mei Bing, we would want Musan. Yeah, let's bring in Musan instead. See if we can do this then. So I'd have to do one rank for the energy. I do uh, to rank four actually. 
that guy's just gonna straight run in there. Even amongst other ascension level cultivators, Zekai is the strongest. And again, I guess we don't really need uh, points for anything. Oh, yeah. Ah, I forgot about that. Xin Ying costs a lot more now. Yeah, maybe that wasn't worth it. It's an extra 20 points to summon her. Man. Wait, what happened to the Pit King? He didn't even spawn yet? <laughs> he wasn't even there. <laughs> what was that? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll take another Demolish. We already have 200 points. We're fighting the wrong thing over here, though. Uh, seems like they smoothed out the energy gathering rate to where it's now like a uh, number per second. You see that? Because before it was like a flat amount. So maybe they're uh, reworking all of this. It's still very early days in this game. So uh, it'll probably change a lot over time here. Uh, either way, we are doing quite well. So we still need, like, what, 70, 140, 240 points. We need to max out the bar, basically. Jeez. Okay, they're all heading in. Kind of weird now how they all go the same path. Because before they would split all the time. As we'll see them demolish here. And eradicate. That sounds great. Oh yeah, here's the rampage ability. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. Oh, we're actually probably just gonna kill this thing, actually. Before we even see any enemy disciples. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if they're even out here. over here. Oh, uh, right here. Yeah, they've barely even, like, exited their camp. Well, I guess we'll just uh, deal with it then. Uh, if that's the case, then it might make sense to just continue to upgrade the levels. Like, you could stop at 5, for instance, now. Uh, and that's not bad. Hard to tell, but yeah, it definitely looks like it's two per tick here right now at, at rank six. So it's definitely getting faster on each each level up. Uh, good change, good change. Gives you more uh, more control here. Okay, we must have just killed it. <laughs> uh, we do get a, a lot of nice... Ooh, yeah, artifact chests, too. Mythic uh, Destiny artifacts. Okay. Some fruits. Some uh, grade 4 forge ingredients. Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, refined stones. Change attributes. Uh, even some legendary trait books. Nice. All right. Uh, so that's the new update. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> we'll continue playing, obviously, uh, for now and see, uh, see how much stronger we can get. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, they make it slightly more entertaining for us uh, in the future. Uh, here's an Ascension Bloody Lands, but uh, we'll probably do that uh, next time. Um, and I'd like to head back to... Um, 
our trial tower challenge to do a more more of those one hit knockout challenges here in the future. I do want to finish that. That's probably like the one major thing that I really want to do once. That's <laughs> so we'll see if we can get it uh, next time. But I hope you enjoyed as always. Uh, Lost Village is extremely promising still. Looking forward to uh, seeing what the developers do with it. So, um, until next time, I guess. Peace.